One of the first photos of me as a kid is at the piano. Now, I'm barely taller than the piano bench at that point. I can hardly reach the keys, but I am in love with that instrument, in love with the ability to move my hands and then make a sound. It's just as magical now as it was then. And that's not a special story. That's not unique to me. If you talk to other musicians, and especially other composers, you'll find many, many, many of them have the same story. They often even have that same picture. And what we discovered was once the invisible magic of music, melodies, and harmonies are underneath your fingers, they're not just abstraction. There's something you can feel in your hands. And once that happens, you're going to remain connected to music somehow. So the piece we just heard is called Pastoral. It was an installation I did with my friend Gezo, who is a visual artist here in Berlin. And it's a reinterpretation of Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, which was also one of my favorite pieces as a kid. I stretched out the melodies in time. Now, Beethoven is unique. You can recognize a Beethoven piano sonata as a piano player just by having someone wrap their knuckles on the side of a piano. They don't even have to hum the bars. Beethoven's ideas were that physical. Of course, that's true of us specialists or piano players, but it's probably true of you too. So if I go, ba 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 ba, you think, and so on. I won't sing the whole Beethoven Fifth Symphony. <laughs> but it's there, it's there, it's, it's, it's physical. And I think that whether ideas are musical or not, for ideas to be successful, they need to have that same physical, emotional connection. We have lots and lots of machines in our world, and they constantly want our attention mounds of new data, mounds of social interactions, and they want us to pay attention to all of those things. But we're not computers, we're not brains in a jar, or at least uh, not yet. So they have to begin to understand that we live inside a body. Musicians have been working on that problem for a long time too, and actually, speaking of the Soviets, one of the first inventions, uh, uh, first electronic musical instruments was invented by a Russian gentleman named Leon Theremin almost a hundred years ago. And he wanted to find a way to use your hands in the air as a way of playing music based on what he knew about radio technology. So he mapped one hand to pitch, uh, so you could go and one hand to uh, amplitude to volume, Mm. And together, you've heard this sound too, probably in science fiction movies, is you get this, mm, that sound. <laughs> uh, that's my human theremin for today. Um, so standing in front of me is the modern descendant of that technology. There's an Xbox Connect camera. And influenced by things like the theremin, it likewise looks at my body and is able to read as I move around. It understands that I have a hand, it understands that I have a spine. Previously, cameras just looked at pixels and so your hand could kind of float off into space. Uh, this is able to, to see how my body relates to the camera. And this isn't something that just I own. This was one of the most successful hardware launches of all time, the first Kinect camera. But when it came out, we had to hack into it. Microsoft didn't give us the tools to work with it. Now the new Kinect, times have changed. And the next Kinect, Microsoft began working with artists. And they even open sourced the tools they were developing. The technology in this camera, meanwhile, was purchased by Apple. So keep an eye on your iPhone. So, this camera is one of many, many cameras that are spreading through our lives, and they're all getting smarter. We're adding more computation, and more and more artists are getting them in our hands. And as that happens, we can make them better. We can make them more expressive. 
and we can begin to use those cameras to give us new ways of relating to, to information. So I'm going to play a little bit with it now. This is a very primitive demonstration, but it shows us some of the beginnings of what we're all able to do. And just as with that piano, because there are so many of these cameras around, many, many artists and engineers and artists who are also engineers are playing with them and trying to figure out how to make them better instruments. Thank you.